Good morning. Let us gather this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And may the peace and the love of our Lord be with you always. As we gather here this morning, we call to mind our sins and our failings, and we seek God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather in the nations to your Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to offer yourself as the sacrifice for our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you bid us to go and to preach the gospel. Lord, have mercy. May the love, the mercy of our God, free us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he sternlessly preached, may by faithfully proclaim by word and deed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading for the Acts of the Apostles. In those, day, in those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus of people who had, then, then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Siren, Menion, who was a close friend of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hand on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyful to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing praise to the Lord with their harp, with their harp and melodious song. With the trumpet and the sound of the horn, sing joyful before the King, the Lord. The Lord be with you.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 to 13. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no snack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or even a walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. If you think about it, at Pentecost, there were but a handful of disciples who had remained, who hadn't run away or um, given up or return to their old lives. And Jesus tells this handful of people to go out and to convert the world, to go to the nations and baptize them and teach them the gospel. And he gives them instructions like this, don't take anything with you, you know, just go out there, don't even take a walking stick, which was actually used for protection. You know, don't take any money, just go out and preach and people are going to welcome you and bring you into their homes and feed you and clothe you and sure they are. They just crucified you. They just nailed you, who are the son of God, to a big stick and you want us to go out there and do what you were doing. It seems almost impossible, certainly a daunting task. Paul, though, and Barnabas have great success. So much success that, you know, the people still back in Jerusalem can't believe it. Thousands of people are converting. Churches are being established all over the known world. And so now it lands to us. How do we fulfill this gospel? How do we share our faith and the gospel of Jesus Christ with other people? To give what we have received away. To have faith, like Paul and Barnabas, that this is what we're called to do. To preach the gospel. To live it in a way that it has an effect on other people. We've certainly... um, seen in recent weeks I've shared in you know the bulletin letter and previous sermons that in the midst of the pandemic people love their neighbor probably than more and with greater examples than we've seen in a very very long time people went out of their way to help total strangers then in contrast we've had the you know the civil rights marches, the reminder that not everybody um, is treated justly in our nation. Not everybody is completely free um, in this land of the free. Um, People still suffer injustice. People still suffer um, violence at the hands of the very people sworn to protect them. And on and on, injustices are all around us things contrary to the gospel of Christ. So we don't have to go too far, we don't have to go to distant lands to live the gospel, to share the gospel, to encourage other people to live according to the commands of our God. Amen. So let us share our prayers, our petitions to our God. Let us pray that Christians everywhere have the faith and courage to live the gospel boldly 
and to teach the faith to others, we pray. We pray for the world, for justice, for righteousness, that all might live freely, that all might live with equal justice, that all might live without fear, we pray. For all the many people who flee from famine and war and disease and poverty, that they, like Barnabas and Saul, might be welcomed and received, we pray. For the sick and the suffering, for all of those who seek the healing hand of God and who need healing, whether it be in body, mind, or in spirit, we pray. for peace in our nation, for justice, especially with an end of racism, especially that we recognize the problem and that we all seek to work to abolish it, whether it be oblique, oblate or whether it be subtle, whether it be institutionalized, that we seek to build a nation that lives up to its creed, we pray. For the dead and the dying, for all of those who've gone before us in faith, we pray for Jacqueline Jackson, for Marjorie Nearing, and for Jim Vincent, who've recently been buried from our church. And we pray um, for our Mass intention today, which is for Bruce and Michelle Van Houten. For all these people, we pray. Almighty God, we surrender all these prayers, as well as the silent prayers of our hearts, into your loving care, as we ask all these things through the intercession of our Mother Perpetual Help, and in the name of Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have these gifts to offer. They are produce of the earth, fruit of the vine, work and toil of human hands. May they become for us our spiritual food and our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be found worthy and acceptable by our good and gracious God. Sanctify with your blessings, we pray, O Lord, the offering presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right truly just, it is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our heart, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 
holy, holy, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it. Passing it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving thanks and praise to you, his Father, he passed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith when we eat this bread drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with David, our Bishop, your clergy, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember especially our brother Jim and our sisters Marjorie and Jackie, and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, with St. Alphonsus and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So we pray as our Lord taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may all be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Lord, look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant to her gifts of your true and lasting peace and unity, in accordance with your holy will. For you live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, to us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who comes to take away the sin of the world. Blessed, joyful are all who come to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, that we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. And the peace of the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Again, I'd ask you if you would just put your kneeler down where you are so we know where people were. I think two people left over there, so we just have to remember um, where they were. But thank you very much. This Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. <laughs>